hey what's going on guys welcome to my channel and in this video I'll be showing you how you can create these uh, simple looking social media lower thirds with it film express it film express is a great free alternative to Adobe After Effects so let's get started open up your film express and then click on new from the template I'll choose 1080p full HD at 30 frames per second and then hit start compositing and uh, this is how my workspace looks like uh, to make it look like uh, exact same workspace you have to click on this icon that says workspace and uh, click on compositing again click on this icon then uh, uncheck this trimmer to hide the trimmer window now let's import some social media icons so uh, I just found these on uh, Google so it's a simple Google search will give you tons of result and uh, for this tutorial I'll use this Twitter logo I'll double click on it and uh, I'll just drag it onto my timeline uh, let's uh, click on this wheel uh, icon right here uh, to go to the composite shot properties and uh, let's change the duration of this composite shot to 4 seconds and then click on OK now uh, the size of this image is too big so let me just scale it down so you can just again uh, click on this triangle arrow thing right here to expand its properties and you'll get this transform again expand it and you'll have this scale property I'll just uh, scale it to about 23% and uh, make sure that your playhead is at the first frame of your video and highlight this position property uh, let's change the position to negative 400 and uh, hit this circle icon just click on it to create a keyframe right there let's move your playhead to the 2 second duration and uh, let's change the value to negative 150 and so far this is how our animation looks like so it's as you can see that it's pretty unpro unprofessional so let's make it a bit more interesting I'll highlight both of these keyframes and uh, click on this icon to convert these keyframes to manual bezier and uh, then click on value graph uh, let's uh, select this keyframe and uh, move its handle to the left side right about there and uh, this one let's move it to the right side just a tad bit so if I play my animation again this is how it will look like so now it's looking pretty fine to me let's create a new layer and uh, let's create a new text layer I'll change the height to 50 and uh, width to 400 and click on OK now select the text tool it's right here click on it to select it let me just rename this layer to follow text and I'm gonna type in follow us and I'm gonna highlight everything on the left side you'll have this control panel text panel and the track panel we'll go to the text panel and this is where you will you will change the this is where you can change the properties of your text for this I'll change the font to unisans italic and uh, set the font size to 48 make sure that I'm at the first frame of my video and let's move this text to the left side and uh, top let's make sure that the they are aligned uh, properly again now I'll create another new layer create a new text layer this time I'll change the height to 100 and click on OK again select the text tool and type in the text 
I'm gonna type in hitfer and I'll just highlight everything change the font and make it about 85 so again select the selection tool move this text to the left side and uh, move it a bit make sure that the bottom of this text aligns to the bottom with the bottom of this image or the logo so right about there is fine and uh, now we will animate our text as well and uh, to do that select the follow text let me just rename this to uh, username uh, so let's select the follow text and expand it expand it once more and uh, we'll have this position value let's keyframe it and uh, starting position I'll click on this circle icon right here create a keyframe and uh, move to the two second duration of my video and uh, let's uh, drag this value to the right side and we want this text to appear on the right side of our logo just like that now I'm gonna highlight both of these keyframes click on this icon to convert it to manual bezier then click on this value graph and it will display your value graph uh, let's drag this handle to the left side and this one to the right and uh, this is how your text looks like right now and I'm gonna do the same thing with my username text so you have to transform the position uh, move your playhead to the first frame create a keyframe by clicking on this circle icon right here move to the uh, two second duration of your video and place this text to the right side of your logo highlight um, both of these keyframes now and uh, convert it to manual bezier click on value graph and uh, select this handle and drag it to the left side this one to the right and uh, this is what we have created so far so if I can just play this yeah, it's looking fine so I want my text right now it's overlapping my logo so we need to fix that as well so to do that create a new layer uh, create a new plane and uh, I'll get a red color and uh, let's rename it to mat01 and click on OK expand it and go to transform set the opacity to 50% now let's move to the uh, two second duration of our video uh, click on this mat01 layer to highlight it and then move it move with your cursor keys or you can just drag it simply drag it to the left side uh, with this control over here and I'll just make sure that uh, you cover the logo part and not the text part you can also zoom in and use your left arrow key on your keyboard to transform it or move it to the left or to the to the right or up or down and uh, that's your and after after you do that go to the effects tab and uh, search for set mat if you just type in set you'll get the set mat layer only just drag this effect on top of the uh, username text and on the left side let's go to the controls tab and you have the set mat option right here this effect right here and uh, let's expand it set the source layer and uh, change it to mat01 
set the mat source to alpha and uh, set the blend to subtract now if you will ju I'll just quickly preview this uh, and as you can see that your text starts to appear only after this uh, this red red box right here and this is what we want uh, this is what we want with our other text so I'm gonna quickly duplicate my mat 01 layer right click on it and click on duplicate I'll just rename it to mat 02 drag this set mat layer only effect on my follow text set it to scale to fit and uh, on the left side you have this control over here set mat set the source layer to mat 02 this time mat source alpha and uh, set the blend to subtract and again same effect uh, let's uh, repeat this process duplicate your mat 02 layer and uh, rename it to mat 03 Drag the set mat layer only effect on top of your Twitter logo. On the left side you have this set mat control. Set the source layer to mat 03 and change the blend to subtract. And uh, let me just uh, hide all these mat layers so you can click on this little eyeball icon to toggle the visibility. And if I you can display this, this is how our animation looks right so far. So as you can see that there is no Twitter logo right now, and uh, we need to fix that. So I want my Twitter logo to start appearing as soon as the text appears. So at 24 0.24 seconds, my text starts to appear. So I'm just gonna select my mat three layer and uh, move this to the left side. And uh, if I can hold shift key on my keyboard and hit the left arrow key, I can move quickly. And right there is, as you can see, the part of your Twitter logo. So I'm just gonna keep it right there. And again, play this animation for you guys. Scan and just play this. And there you can see, bam, smooth animation. So that's how you create your low third, social media low third in Film Express. Now, if you want to uh, change the logo to something else, like say, for example, Facebook, you can go to Media, click on Import, and this time choose the Facebook logo. There are two methods to change the logo. The first method is to uh, drag this Facebook logo on top of your Twitter.png logo and uh, copy all the attributes of the Twitter logo and paste it on your Facebook logo. So I can go to effects, uh, highlight the set matte effect, right click on, on it and click on copy. Now I'll go to the Facebook PNG layer and uh, go to the effects, highlight it, right click on it and click on paste. Again go back to the Twitter layer, copy the position values, I'll right click on it. Also make sure that your playhead is at the first frame of your video. Right click on the position property and click on copy. Also note down the scale value, it's at 23%. Go back to the facebook.png, expand the transform property and on the position is highlighted, right click on it and click on paste. Also make sure that the scale is same and I'll set it to 23%. Now, uh, I'll see that your logo will be placed with the Facebook logo. And you can toggle the visibility of your uh, Twitter logo. And there you have it. The other method is to, uh, on your Twitter.png uh, layer, right click on it and click on Make Composite Shot. And I'll just name it Facebook. And uh, simply drag this Facebook logo on top of your P uh, Twitter logo. And uh, let's uh, click on this eyeball right here to toggle the visibility of Twitter logo. And if you just go back to your composite shot, you'll see that your logo is now changed to Facebook logo. 
Okay, now let's drag this composite shot and smooth to the edit the timeline and uh, drag this composite shot onto our timeline. And I'm just gonna zoom in. Let me just create a new layer, create a new plane. Let's change the background to black, uh, maybe a light. Let's do 35, 35, 35, and click on OK. And just move it to the bottom. And uh, now I can see the text a bit more clearly. So this is our animation right here. Uh, let me just uh, right click on and click on copy and uh, paste it right here. Uh, let's move this clip and uh, to the left side is make sure that they are uh, next to each other. Now this is your animation and this is the opening of your animation. Uh, we need uh, to make our animation go away as well or maybe the closing of our animation just like this. And uh, to do that go to the effects tab and search for reverse time reverse you can type in rev and there is your time reverse effect and drag it on top of your second clip now if you just play this this is how your animation looks overall that's it guys that's how you create these uh, lower thirds in HitFilm Express. I hope this video was helpful and if it was please do leave a like. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'll be uploading more of these motion graphics tutorials on this channel. Um, and uh, yeah that's it. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.